I don't remember who said that people always start with so. <laughs> <laughs> So, so let's get this started. Exactly. So I'm let's sharing this collaborative notes document <clears throat> that most likely you are familiar with. And there you will find a couple of icebreakers. Mm, should I start asking Samantha about the first icebreaker? Works on my computer. Like, I guess you heard this sentence, you know, what does it mean in practice that you are trying to, I guess the context here is that you're not able to get something work on your computer and you ask me and I'd say, well, it works on my computer. Has this happened to you or? Oh, yes, it has happened. And we have solved it in many different ways. Uh, sometimes we just say, okay, I don't need to run it. You can run it. It works on your computer. Please do the work now. Um, in other cases, restarting, like it says here also, has also helped um, to solve the magic of these computer problems. And more recently, like in the, let's say in the recent years, after visiting the Code Refiner workshop many years ago, um, also stuff like containers um, have helped. And I guess we're going to discuss that today. How about you? Yeah, no, I was just thinking that in general, this is such a common problem that, you know, you might be trying to help your grandparents with their phone and you look at their phone and it behaves in a different way than, you know, even though you have the same model and same everything, it's, it's, it's quite amazing that, you know, that technology in general tends to not be that, how can I say, reproducible or, or you know, stable, robust. Yeah. But usually, yeah, restarting it or when it comes to software, reinstalling it sometimes fixes magically. I mean, isn't it actually pretty amazing when something does work across other computers? <laughs> I mean, like just imagine if I write something and it works on three different operating systems of computers and three different operating systems of phones or two phones and who knows however many other things yeah that's a big deal it's certainly still a feeling of magic when that actually works like first try <laughs> when you like send some code or uh, try to run it on a different computer and it just works and you're like wow that really yeah. <laughs> so what are the reasons why something usually doesn't work then Good that's, exactly there's so many reasons like even this part this 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 thing of the re restarting you know it's this um, i was trying to explain yeah. it to my child that you know your phone went to a state that it's not uh, it's it's okay. it's not kind of you know the usual anymore so you need to restart it too yeah so wait, what's a good metaphor that the non technology metaphor for you have to restart it hmm Yeah, that's a very difficult. I'm thinking of cooking because cooking is our <laughs> yeah. usual one. I guess that you know that if you messed it up, yeah, you you have to restart in a sense that you have to throw away everything and yeah. and re remake your I okay. don't know, dive or what about one of these forever stews where there's a pot and you keep adding stuff to it and taking it away <laughs> and it keeps going for well days or weeks but sometimes it gets messed up and it's too spicy or too whatever or poisoned or something. And you have to throw it all out and start from the beginning. Because mm -hmm. many other things, I mean, when you're cooking, normal cooking, you like you restart on every new recipe. Mm. So, Of course you can get the master chef who is able to fix <laughs> any if it's too spicy or too yeah. bland or... Yeah. but we still have a couple of minutes and the second icebreaker is about what do you know now about programming and scripting and software which you wish somebody told you when you started this is the kind of question that we have always been asking each other and always been asking mm. to whoever comes across that 
it's not truly or strictly related to this day, but in general, you know, yeah. some kind of advice for your younger self or future self. For me, this, uh, what it says there, the how to organize folders and code is definitely one big one and how much it matters because maybe you have like heard about that before and you're like, ah, yeah, but I'm just like trying something out now. I don't have to worry about this. And then it grows and grows and gets more messy and messy. And at some point someone asks you, hey, can you share this? And then you have to like either put some order in your mess or write like super long documentation where to find the different files and uh, where to find the different data. So how much also this organization actually mm. matters for your future self and how much time it can save you would also be my answer here about you. Yeah, I mean, I feel in a way related to this kind of about the physical geography of the systems we use because I've, i feel that sometimes especially the the new generation might be growing with ipads or or other devices they don't know the kind of you know geography of the file system that there are folders that there are processes and so and then when people start working with you know super computers or hpc clusters then suddenly is it now on my computer? Am I, you know, where am I in the network of computers? So this actually helped me a lot understanding where am I, what is connected to the place where I am now to kind of, you know, then understand, okay, I can't do this, what I would normally do in my laptop because I'm not on my laptop anymore. I'm somewhere, somewhere else. Mm 